<clears throat> so I'm using the nib pen. It's quite a tricky job because this window is very narrow. These uh, side, the cab, the 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 the, the front windows, the narrow ones, are actually have to be widened a bit with a with a file because the the molding is not very was not is not very kind of there's some flashing always at the top on these. But using a nib pen, you can do a very good job. Well, a very good job. Put too much paint on there, so that's not a very good job at all. Let's get rid of it. Just quickly get rid of the excess using a, using a cotton bud. Anyway, if there's any excess, you can always use a water soluble acrylic and give it a quick dry with one of these. Okay. The narrow ones are more tricky. But the three foot or one meter rule applies. So we don't really need to be too Too fussy, but I'm working with my hand under the tripod here, so just to show you what I'm doing. Hmm. Went too far over there. Okay. So the other side of this. Okay, that's done. Of course, some, some gold, some brass paint went right there where it shouldn't have so I'm just going to use a toothpick to get rid of that okay let's do this little window over here It's a tricky, a very tricky point to work in. You see, there's no lip around these windows. In the Jouet 430 TA Boer, the moulding has got a lip. There's a lip round the, round the window, so it's very easy to, to just pick them out. Here it's just flat. It's a very basic molding, this is the thing. And the same, the problem I was, in last night's video, I was telling you about the problem of the front 
of the, the locomotive number here, is it? Okay, the numbers are raised, but they're not very raised. They're, they're really, it's a very, very slight, they're slightly higher than the plate. So it's really very difficult to pick them out. And at one point I had picked them out in white, then I had used some lighter fluid to get rid of, and it came semi-decent, but not very legible. And then I tried again using the using the, the, the printing block with a small bit of balsa, this little bit of balsa here, for example, there we go, and that just did not work. And so I just, I've decided that I'm just going to find the exact font for the locomotive number and uh, for the very diminutive ca uh, uh, locomotive shed number here, which here you can see it's it's round, that should be oval. Definitely cut, cutting around but it's easier, but I can actually cut an oval piece of styrene because I cut, cut around one and then using using the cutter I can sort of trim it. And it'll be anyway very small, it'll be very, very small, and I can just cut, glue it directly on top, because it doesn't really stick up that much. When I'll put the number here, I'll just file down, because I'll fit the number onto a small piece of styrene cut exactly the same size as this, as this plate here, and at that point I'll just file this down slightly to make a nice flush thing, glue it on, and that's it. And uh, that will come very nice. I mean, it's a genty, it's a triangle genty. I mean, I'm not going to turn it into a, into a super detailed locomotive, but some slight improvements can be done. Like, for example, this pipe here, I've been looking at photographs of what to do, but pretty basic. I want to add a few details. Maybe I could add a handrail here. There should be a handrail there and a handrail there. There are various, various details that can be... I don't want to complicate my life too much. For example, I won't be adding the molded, I won't be changing these molded handrails here. So probably what I'll do, considering these are molded, I'll make a molded one by gluing on a piece of wire that looks like a molded handrail, painted black. So we'll see what to do. It's not, but this is such an easy locomotive to dismantle that I can run the locomotive and just pop the body off and then do my maintenance and then pop it back on. So this will be a sort of long running project. Then there will be, you know, the rivets here. And making the rivets could be very difficult and would require repainting, but what could fit? I could fit at least a hook here. Make a coupling hook here at the front. Of course I can't put some some, some chain because there's the because there's the there's the, the, the decoupling. Uh, I could fit, for example, a vacuum pipe. Probably, I can even find these, these details. You can even find them in 176.00 scale and just fit them on. So, it's not really, it's not urgent, but in fact, that's, it's just something that we'll do bit by bit. Okay. And the main thing is to get this thing here going and to have a good plate because I'm feeling the need for some layout that's the problem nearly finished I have to be very careful here not to make a mess in fact what did I do? I made the mess. Yeah, made the mess. Made the mess, made the mess, made the mess. Oh, but the mess has contributed to making a good thing. See, I made a wee bit of a mess, but that actually ran inside and has fixed things up for me. Let's get rid of that. there. I need to do the bottom bit here.
that's nice. I think that's quite good. Okay, that's quite regular. Maybe a little bit here. To make it the same as the other one. Okay, that's done. Not bad, now let's get a wee brush. See if this brush is any good. This is a rather scruffy triple O brush. Let's see if we manage to make it behave and we do the whistle with the brush. Let's see what we manage to do. This is easy compared to the wing. Brass paint on black. It would probably require another another second coat, but we can just put this on like this and we can call it weathering. Bad. Not bad at all. But yeah, I would need to polish up these these brass safety valves, but I'm not pulling anything out of the bodywork to polish it, and to polish that would be very complicated. Or else I could do it with uh, the fiberglass pencil. But anyway, in time they would oxidize, so who cares? <laughs> I could have added a bit of black, a bit of black to the brass paint to make it a bit more, you know, not so shiny, etc, etc, etc. Okay, dokey, rivet counting is not up my street. Right, -o. so that was that done. I'm rather pleased about the result. It's okay. It's okay. It's quite nice. Let's look at it from a distance. Let's look at it over there like that. Hold on. That's quite nice. Imagine this is rolling along. Chuff, chuff, like that. Now I'm going at the, I'm at the, we're more or less at meters distance. That's quite nice. We're at about a bit above, we're under a meter, we're about 40 centimeters around the foot. It's quite nice, I would say. And I've based it on a very nice picture of uh, on Flickr. So I'm modeling it on a photograph. It's not one of my photographs, it's a photo from Flickr. And I can even I'll and in the description box, uh, I'll actually I'll I'll specify who the photograph belongs to because I don't have Flickr open right now, and uh, but I'll I'll specify in the in the description box because these are very important things. Okay, cheerio and see you next time. Looking a bit more like a model train. <laughs>